Yo, what's up guys? There's a bunch of games on Roblox that now give you free limited items. With the new update that Roblox just released yesterday, UGC creators can make it so that you can only buy their items in a game, and tons of people have been making games giving out free limited items if you complete them. And there's already been tons of these games coming out with tons of different free limited items that you guys can get. First, I found this game, which is called Be a Marble and Flex Your Time on Others. And from that, you can get the Bomb Shoulder Buddy hat, which of course is a free limited item. Basically, what you had to do is you had to survive in the game for a total of five minutes, which doesn't sound super difficult, but trust me, this one took me a very long time to actually do. And I ended up getting the free limited at the end. But it was very difficult and it took me a very long time to actually just get 5 minutes. Then there was this game Survive the Wave which gave you another free limited item. This one gave you the drop floaty friend, another free limited item. And all you had to do was get 20 wins in the game which honestly wasn't too difficult. You just had to, it would just take you a long time, you have to be committed to the game, survive a few different rounds and you would end up getting a free limited item that of course you could eventually sell and make robux off of. Then there was also this game, Boxing League, which gave you another free item. It would give you the Stone Crystal Horns, which only 30,000 out of 100,000 have been claimed as I'm recording this. So you guys probably still have a pretty good chance to actually get this item. But out of all the free items, this one is probably going to take you guys the longest to actually complete. It takes around 45 minutes, maybe even over an hour to get this item. Because you have to level up 20 times in Boxing League in order to be able to get this item for free. And I noticed that pretty much every time I played a match, it would level me up once. So you have to basically play 20 different matches in order to level up 20 times and get this item for free. But in my opinion, it's a pretty cool looking item. Bro, he said I'm cheating. <laughs> he said I'm cheating. This guy's really mad, bro. This guy's mad, bro. And out of the limited games that I played, this one was actually my favorite. I thought Boxing League was a lot of fun, and I think you guys would enjoy it too. Then there was also this item, the Wanderer's Crown, which you had to play this game called Those Who Wander for Eternity. The title of the game is pretty similar to what you actually have to do. You literally are just playing a white screen, and you have to find where the item is. I don't think you could even see it. You just have to randomly stumble upon it, and then you'll be able to buy the item after that completely for free. But I imagine this one would probably take you a long time. I know Sharkblocks also made his own game with his own free limited item. Here's what the item looked like. It's called the Retro Skull Logo Beanie. It's inspired by old Roblox items and I thought it was pretty cool. And it looks like there's some kind of obstacle course you actually have to try to complete. You need to build your way all the way up to the top with the different blocks over here. Obviously pretty similar to how old Roblox used to work. You just gotta build your way all the way up until you reach the top and then you'd be able to buy the item completely for free of course. I could imagine this probably takes a very long time to actually go ahead and do, but obviously you get a free item at the end if you are actually able to complete it. Oh my god, I almost fell. I'm like halfway there. No! And honestly, there were tons of other games that were giving out free limited UGC items, and I'm sure there's gonna be more of them that come out as time goes on. Follow me on Twitter, I'll probably be posting some of the games when they actually come out, so you guys can go ahead and actually try to get some of these items. But in my opinion, this is a really cool update. It actually makes some of these free items obtainable for real people, and it's not only bots who are gonna get them. So in my opinion, that's really cool. And it brings a light to a lot of different games, which maybe aren't super popular, but some of these items are able to advertise them a lot more. So I definitely think it's a really cool idea. There's gonna be tons more in the future, so I recommend you guys try and go for them. And you might be able to make some pretty easy Robux from doing this and discover some really cool games on Roblox. I know at least I enjoyed some of the games that I played, so hopefully you guys do too as well. Remember to follow me on Twitter. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe. Peace. Bro, no way this guy's still coming after me, bro. I won by luck. This guy's really mad, bro. He said, y'all don't know who I am. He said he's gonna get me banned. Oh no, he's getting me banned. This guy's trying to tell me to name three scary movies. This guy is so salty to the point. Oh my god, bro. This is... Bro, I feel like I'm in a Project Supreme video right now. I don't know how this guy is so salty that he lost to me in Boxing Simulator. He was at a watch who you're talking to. What, bro. Yo, if you know this guy... Oh, oh he left. That's tough.